Bet Online is your number one source for all your summer sports this season from MLB, golf, NBA, and NHL playoff stats. All the latest stats, news, and scores are available to you to follow your favorite teams. So get the latest odds and lines, including the latest team matchups, player props, and odds of just about every sport out there. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to get in the action. Bet Online, where the game starts. Uh, next is from Yanish Horton. And the subject is the backlash you can't recover from. No one with a brain can bash anyone for being a company man. It only makes sense to do it. But there really is a level to it. John Cena, for example, is the master of being a company man. Matt Hardy can make it seem like TNA is the most must-see company on earth today. Good for him. That's his job as a wrestler. But then you can see Dax Harwood, who seemingly has gone out of his way to be such a shill for AEW, that he makes Conrad Thompson and Dave Meltzer look like Triple H in a press conference. He'd gone so far, in fact, that even AEW's biggest online marks like JD from New York have turned against he worked a match in the main event of the most recent Dynamite that going on in history is the least watched main event in the history of mainstream media wrestling. Hey, 100, how would you handle a guy like this? The fans hate him. It's not the hate that you could turn into the crowd heat like Roman Reigns did. And it's, no, this guy sucks and I will not watch this if he's around. Um, so Dad, Dad's has um, decided to draw a line in the sand and go after the 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 old head podcasters like guys like us that are seeing that that they are critical of the of the things they do on the show. But his problem is is that and we were talking I brought this up when nobody else was talking about it. You know, he was saying when he was talking about let's get that legacy. Let's when he was literally on TV talking about getting getting his legacy and go oh my that's a shit. And dude, this guy like so pull up his Twitter. Mm-hmm. I wanna I want you I want to go through I want to Pull up his Twitter and go down his feed. And if I can, if you can find a tweet in there that is not about professional wrestling, I want to I, I stop until when, when, when you see it, right? Um, but, bro, he's coming across, okay, over the course of time here, he's come across as a huge mark, period. And this guy's very, Conan's work with this guy is very professional. He's a very good wrestler. Him and his partner, good tag team, you know, great matches. But there's, not arguing that. But bro, you're talking about your legacy and like the history of the business. And like, yeah, yeah I haven't heard you cut one good promo in four years. And like, I, you know, to the point that I know you're a good wrestler, but I don't really care to watch your matches because you don't cut good promos and you're kind of like a mark for yourself. And, you know, that that's what I'm seeing here from an educated standpoint of somebody that's been in the business. That's your vibe. You know, and like, you know, you're, you're good at what you do and stuff and you make a lot of money, you know, and, but dude, it's like, you're not like, you're not at the level I think you are that he, that he thinks he is, you know? So I, that that's my take on him. I mean, you can tell me what you think, Conan. Well, I, I don't understand. What was the question? Um, it, How would you handle a guy like this is the question. How would I handle a guy that's putting over a company that he works for? Uh, wouldn't. The, well, no, no, here's the his thing. Okay, okay, here's a question in full. How would you handle a guy like this? The fans hate him. It's not that hate you turn into a crowd heat like Roman did. It's, no, this guy sucks and I will not watch if he's around type. Thing. I disagree. I, 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 I disagree dis- with that I too. Okay. People do not hate him as much as you think. You probably hate him, but it's almost like that the guy that just Jared with the Brian Strowman thing, obviously he probably doesn't like Brian because he gets pops. But when these guys come out, they get huge pops. People like right. Them. Okay, let's go through this. How many uh, tweets are about wrestling? I'm all the way back to May 8th here, and it's just all wrestling. Yeah. All wrestling. All oh. wrestling. Well, maybe that's all, all right. he uses it for, to talk about and promote wrestling. I, you know, I don't know where that, but like, you know, like I get it, dude, but like you just, you just come across as a mark. Like a, like he comes across as a, as a mark for himself, yeah. you know. When when really your your resume, bro, bro. Let's be honest. His legacy, I, whatever he wanted his legacy to become, he right. didn't get in W in AEW. He could have stayed in WWE, and they were getting a lot of accolades and stuff for them. I know they, I know when Vince was there, he wanted to turn him into like goofy characters with hot hats on and stuff for them. But he could have been like with Paul Heyman. 
maybe worked in that spot and had a good word with the Usos and stuff. But, but dude, you, like in AEW, you're just disco. Happy. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited uncensored content and being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams uh thank you for your support thank you for riding with us i know you got a lot of other uh podcast choices be it wrestling or other ones and thank you for picking us boom